Hello, and welcome back to Nixology. Uh, in the last video, we talked about, about how to get started configuring Home Manager. And I said that in the following video, I would talk about uh, looking at the Home Manager source. But I thought of something else I want to show you before we get into that. So if you've been following along, you maybe have started using Nix as a package manager, kind of replacing Homebrew. So if you run Nix and query installed, you may see a few things there. In my case, I have C tags, fuzzy finder, JQ, LS colors, rip grep, tree, and Z shell. So when you install things in the Nix profile this way, they don't get automatically updated. If new versions are released, there is a command to update them. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but um, this doesn't really take advantage of a lot of the power of, of Nix, where it'd be cool if you could have these written out in a file somewhere as like the manifest of these are the packages I want installed in my profile. And in fact, that's uh, to a fairly large extent what Home Manager is about. So if we do Home Manager edit, there is um, some attribute here in, in Home Manager that lets us install packages just into your home profile. So let's go find um, the, uh, an example config to use, which we'll use mine. And we'll go to home.nix and home.packages is the attribute we want to use. In my config, I didn't put much in here for reasons that we don't have to get into, but we'll say here, home.packages equals stuff. Now, just like we did here, where we said with packages.vim plugins, we're gonna want to do with packages. Actually, let's leave that out for now and just show what it looks like if we don't do that. So um, let's split the view here if my shell loads, and run nix and query installed. So I have these packages. Let's say I want to move c tags out of here, out of my nix env and into home manager. So we'll call that packages.c tags, and I'll run, first I'll run nix env dash e c tags to erase it from my, my nix env. Now if I run nix env query installed again, you'll see it's not listed there. But if I run home manager can probably demonstrate that it's not even runnable, um, which C tags, it's installed somewhere else, but pretend it wasn't runnable. Um, now if I run home manager switch, ah, I should just home manager config, I think. Home manager switch. It does some stuff. And then if I do hash dash r, which just makes my shell recompute the cache of where it expects to find things. Normally you don't have to worry about this, but to demonstrate this, you do have to. If I run which c tags, you'll see it's in my Nix profile, but Nix and query installed doesn't show it. So that's fine. That's basically what we wanted. Let's copy the rest of them. So packages.jq, packages.fuzzyfinder, packages uh rip grep packages dot tree uh, for various reasons i think i'm going to leave some of the other things so we're going to do nix out dash e i bet you i can do multiples rip grep tree and then query install shows this so great you know what let's actually move the others too nix uh, NSS CA cert is just called CA cert and Z shell. So now if I do a home manager switch, I might get conflicts. Yeah, so you'll see it's going to complain because both um, Nix, this thing, and this thing are providing the same file. Now the reason that is, is because your home manager path is in your Nix profile. So when Nix tries to build this all together, you get ultimately this big bag of symlinks into all of the things it depends on. And if 
two things are providing the same thing, it doesn't know how to resolve that. There's tricks you can do to specify one as being higher priority, but in this case, we've actually kind of got a deeper issue, which is that we're trying to install something via being directly in the profile, but also through the home manager path. So in this case, the, the solution is to just first remove zshell nssca cert and nix. Now, I'm a little suspicious this might completely break everything, but we're gonna try it anyway. And now home manager switch miraculously worked. So installing uninstalling Nix and CA cert from your home profile can sometimes have bad consequences. But in this case, now they're installed again, so things are fine. Um, and um, now the, the last thing is, obviously we can't put the home manager path in home manager because that's how home manager is getting onto the path, but we still have this LS colors thing that we talked about in a few videos prior to this one. So this is defined by LS colors, which doesn't have to remain around on disk, but I just happen to have it here. So if we wanted to move LS colors out of here and into home manager, what we can do is first we can do mix and dash E LS colors and rem LS colors and remove it. But then let's copy the thing we use to define it. And we want to put it somewhere in here. So what we can do is we can paste it in. And what we want, I think, is um, something like ls colors equals that, maybe the semicolon, and then in. So what we're doing here is making this a local variable. So we have that packages run command that we had before, but now we're assigning it to the local variable ls-colors. And I think all we have to do here is add ls colors. And if we now run home manager switch, it should fail because we haven't set this checksum correctly, but it should give us the right one. And it did. So we'll paste that in and run it again. And what we should see is that'll get installed and everything looked successful. So let's look in Nix profile slash bin and we see do we see LS? Yes. And do we see dirt colors? Yes. So those are the things that we were trying to provide in this derivation, and they seem to be installed. So now, if we run nixenv query installed, all we see is home manager path, because everything else is now defined uh, in code in our home manager config. So this is um, kind of the pattern that Home Manager really encourages you to do is, you know, if you want to install something temporarily, you can do nixenv, you know, install it here, or for that matter, run it with comma. But uh, eventually you want to migrate towards having your, your, your home environment specified in code so that you can push that to some GitHub repo re representing your, you know, your computer configuration, maybe share that with colleagues. Um, and moreover, now when you run home manager switch, you pick up updates for any of these programs that were installed just kind of passively. So um, yeah, that's a, a pattern for how you can how you can manage packages on your system using home manager, which kind of prevents some of that uh, eventual pain when you want to move to a different machine or upgrade packages or whatever. So next time I think we will talk about how to how to interact with the home manager source. So stay tuned for that one. Bye.